this might be the one topic surrounding Taylor Swift that isn't polarizing in some way. I mean, regardless of how you feel about her, I think we can all agree the woman can rock a red lip. Taylor Swift is iconic for many reasons, but we're going to stick to her iconic red lip today that's been her beauty signature since 2009. People have always wondered what red lipstick Taylor Swift wore, but Google searches went through the roof once the Eras Tour started and people realized her makeup and her lip were staying in intact through three plus hours of singing without lip syncing and dancing even in the rain with only seconds for her costume changes. That's really impressive. So today I'm sharing and lip swatching Taylor Swift's red lipsticks that have been confirmed either by Taylor herself or confirmed or hinted at by her longtime makeup artist. I have a few bonuses thrown in here too because that's the way I roll. To round it out and make it an even 10, I added two gorgeous just universally flattering reds. And I'm also sharing a few hacks I use for applying a red lip that just make it a little bit easier and help it wear a little bit better using one of my favorite red lips that I have on right now. With that said, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new and let's get into these Taylor Swift red lipsticks that she wears and see how they might work for you. This first lipstick was worn by Taylor in her Bejeweled video. Now, before we get into the application, and wear clips. Note that there may not be much precision in most of them. You may see some squiggly lines. I didn't use lip liner or anything. I really just did them for shade purposes. You may be seeing some crooked lips. Just wanted to make that note ahead of time. This first one is Pat McGrath Liquilust Legendary Wear Matte Lipstick in Elson 4. It's also been speculated that this may be the lipstick she's wearing on the Eras Tour. Pat McGrath has been doing her makeup and because of how bulletproof this is it has been speculated. This is a vivid blue red liquid matte lipstick with a velvety finish and a moisture complex to leave your lips feeling comfortable, soft, and hydrated. It's not tacky or sticky and feels weightless and comfortable. If you typically find liquid lipsticks drying like I do you might like this one. It's not as drying as most. Now this shade was confirmed by Taylor herself years ago. It was in a different format though that has been discontinued. So for that reason, I think some of the products that have been hinted at might be better options. Not that this formula is bad, it's just not quite as long lasting. So this is NARS Dragon Girl in the new Power Matte formula from NARS. The formula that Taylor had used was the Velvet Matte formula. It was just a little bit more bulletproof. This is a vivid siren red with a cream to, I would say demi matte texture. It's definitely not a flat matte, which is nice in my opinion. It glides on easily. You have a nice lip liner and lipstick all built into one, which is nice. And it gives nice opaque color. It's a very comfortable formula, just not quite as long lasting as the Velvet Matte formula was. Now it does work a little bit better with a hack I share a little bit later in the video, but for now, this is NARS Dragon Girl Power Matte from NARS. MAC Ruby Woo is a celebrity favorite and was confirmed by Taylor many, many years ago. This is a vivid blue-red matte that has high color payoff and a matte finish that lasts a really long time for a bullet lipstick. It does have a dry formula, so if you don't like dry lipsticks, you may not like this, but that is what gives it the longevity that it has. I keep using the term bulletproof. It's one of the most bulletproof bullet lipsticks. I've probably ever tried. Taylor's longtime makeup artist Lori Turk has shared some red lipstick favorites that would strongly indicate she may or may not have used these on Taylor at some point in time for various events or occasions. It was worth including these in this video because there are some really good ones in here, including a nice affordable favorite. I'm starting with Patrick Ta Major Headlines Matte Suede Lipstick in That's Why She's Late. This is a matte pigmented cherry red that glides on and leaves this powdery velvet finish. This is very long lasting for a bullet lipstick especially. Next up is another liquid lip. We have Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored. This is described as a perfect universal red. It's weightless, long wearing, and gives a soft matte finish. And it's another nice, smooth, comfortable liquid lipstick. And I do agree that this 
this is a nice classic red that's probably universally flattering. It's worth noting that they do recommend shaking this to activate the formula before you apply it. Next is Velvet Ribbon from Lisa Eldridge. This is a classic, vibrant, neutral blue red. It's also supposed to be universally flattering. This is not a flat matte. It's creamy and hydrating. It has a slight sheen to it, yet it's pretty long wearing for a bullet lipstick formula. If you're more into orangey reds, this one is for you. This is Tom Ford Flame. This is a bright, orange red and this is another creamy comfortable option that's matte but not flat matte and it also wears a decent amount of time for a bulletproof lipstick i'm seeing why these formulas are favorites among the celebrity makeup artists I pulled this favorite straight from my own collection. I already owned it, so it made it easy. Of course, it had to be the least expensive of the entire bunch. This is Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in Always Red. This is a matte classic true red. As someone who's not typically a fan of liquid lips, this is another one I find to be pretty comfortable. I, mean, I was happy to see she had an affordable option on the list. My first universally flattering red I think anyone could wear. I, I thought I found it when I was researching for this video as a lipstick that Taylor had worn, but I dug a little deeper and it wasn't. But after trying it, I fell in love with it. And I'm so picky when it comes to red lipsticks. They have to look a certain way, feel a certain way, and wear really well because it's the focal point of your entire look. You don't want it to fall apart, you know? So this first one is Gucci Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade ED Scarlet. It's a beautiful classic red scarlet shade and has a lightweight velvety matte texture with a soft creamy feel and it lasts a long time, especially for a bullet lipstick. I feel like I'm saying that a lot in this video, but that's okay. Again, that's important with a red lip. And this next one comes in several different formulas, which I think is really great. So this is Dior 999. This is a classic red that's literally described by Dior as red and is probably known as being one of the most universally flattering reds around. I have it in the velvet and satin finishes. It also comes in matte and metallic and the cases are refillable, which I think is fantastic. These also have some nice ingredients making them comfortable, plus they last a long time too. Okay, as far as applying your red lips so it looks nice and even and wears really well throughout the day or night, the first thing I do is start with a nice clean lip. I take a lip scrub of some sort and swipe it over my lips and then rub my lips together, rub my finger over my lips to get off any dead skin cells, any little peeling bits that might be there. And then I remove that with a makeup wipe. If you try a tissue, you'll end up with tissue remnants and scrub remnants. You won't be able to get it off all the way. Now, ideally, I would have done this before I started applying my makeup, but sometimes you don't realize you want a red lip until the end. So if you find you removed some of your foundation, just take the end of your beauty blender and tap it over your mouth to kind of just reapply some of that foundation or take a tiny bit of powder foundation and just gently apply it over the edges of your lips to add makeup back to your skin if you happen to wipe it off. Now to hydrate your lips, you wanna add some kind of lip balm. I use Drunk Elephant Lippy here today. It's one of my favorites, but you can use anything you have on hand. I just, just swipe some over the entirety of my lips, but you don't want that balm layer to be too thick. So then I blot some of that away so that my lips just barely feel hydrated. They basically just don't feel dry because if your balm layer is too thick, your lipstick won't last throughout the day. Next, I take a red lip pencil. I'm using Lisa Eldridge ribbon here. I'll link a few other favorite red lip pencils down below if you're interested in those. I always start with my top lip and I usually curve my cupid's bow, keeping it either on the perimeter of my lips or just slightly above, not too much. And you'll note I stop the top of my lip about halfway and curve it into my lips. I don't continue to the corner and I go ahead and I move to my bottom lip. Now, because my bottom lip is fuller than my top, I don't overline. I just line right on the perimeter of my lip. And I also stop that halfway. Now, the reason why I stop halfway on both is because I want the angle at which my outer corners meet to 
be more horizontal. I don't want that angle to be too deep, basically. It looks a little overwhelming on me when I do that when I'm wearing a red lip. So I basically go from keeping my lip liner at the perimeter or slightly above to the outer half, keeping it at or inside my lip line just slightly. So it almost kind of sweeps from outward to inward at this point. Of course, you can obviously line your lips how you want. This just works for me a little bit better. I've never seen anyone else do this with their red lip, but this red lip hack helps me so much when the red lip starts to wear away in the center of your lips. After I line the perimeter of my lips, I apply a red lip stain. So as your pigmented red lip starts to wear away, instead of seeing your lip color come through, which can be a little bit drastic, it's camouflaged by the stain because your lips are stained. So what I'm applying on my bottom lip is the Fenty stain in Strawberry Sangria. And on the top, I'm applying Clarins Red Water Stain. I just wanted you to see what each of them look like on me. You can apply one layer or layer them up depending on how deep you wanna go. And here's what they look like as stains. These are great to wear on their own, by the way, if I didn't have this stark lip liner on underneath. Then I go in with whatever lip color I'm wearing, which today is NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Rita. This is one of my favorite red lipsticks of all time. I have a strange feeling this is going to be discontinued soon. It's no longer carried at Sephora. I think they have it at Nordstrom and on the NARS website. But using that stain trick or that stain hack makes applying the actual pigmented liquid or regular lipstick quicker. It's just something I've been doing that has really made a difference with how my lipstick applies and wears. So I just wanted to share it here if you haven't done that. Now, if you do have any mishaps or little uneven areas, just take a small brush and some concealer or a pointed Q-tip and just clean that right up. And you can also top over it with a light bit of powder foundation if necessary. I want to add really quickly for added longevity when wearing a non-liquid lipstick, I place one ply of a facial tissue over my lips and tap some looser pressed translucent powder to seal in the color. And then I tap some lipstick on with my finger just to add back in a little bit of shine and texture. I felt like this was the perfect time to do this video because holiday season is here. It's time for red lips. So I thought this would be a fun video to do. Let me know if you've tried any of these, if you intend to. Let me know if you've gone to the Eras tour too. We went and it was amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun putting it together and doing it. It. If you did enjoy it or if you found it helpful in some way, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.